Need advice? Taco Bob to the rescue. Time for Ask Taco Bob. On 101.1 WJRR. It's Orlando's Rockstick Taco. Uh, World-renowned life coach uh, LCTB uh, has entered the studio. Brought to you by Petty's Meats. Stay Road 434 in Longwood, just west of I-4. Um, LC, welcome. Thank you to Patty's Meats. If you've never been to Patty's, Patty's, you're missing out. What? I was in there a Saturday morning, and they had told me about your... Uh, My latest chopper incident there? The helipad? They hadn't mentioned that. They okay. hadn't mentioned that you bought $700 worth of tomahawk ribeyes mm-hmm. for your uh, Labor Day throwdown that you had. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. What? Okay, that's impressive unto itself. But what, what happened with the chopper? They didn't mention that. Nah, I might have taken out an antenna with the prop. Don't worry about it. It's my new pilot. He's still learning. He's no TC, but he's getting it. What is your new pilot's name? Brandon. He's acclimating. He's acclimating slowly. Somebody actually asked about him. Um, well, 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 welcome. We're glad you're here. Thanks. Flustered or not? I mean, yeah. Stop by Petty's. Remember when you walk in, you can. Pour yourself an ice cold draft beer, complimentary draft beer to shop with. Don't forget about their sandwich of the week, man. I'm a little flustered. One of my lady friends is having a monu- monumental birthday. The big twenty five. She's a uh, <laughs> complaining about the heat wave we're having, and I told her just put ice in your panties and call it a day, lady. Um, you uh, you you uh, not currently married, right? I, I, I don't. Really. I keep that on the debt disclosure, or non-disclosure. I don't talk about things like that. LCTB. It's a little embarrassing, but I need your assistance. My stepsister and I get along great. We hang out a lot. The other night, after having a few too many drinks, we kissed. It's been a few days, and we haven't talked about the incident. Should I bring it up to her? Man, if you guys get along great, you should talk to her. You sick? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Now, I mean, think about it. I can't call you sick because she's sick too. And technically, you're not blood related. So I say go for it. Right? That's what they do in the that porn category. It's a very popular porn category. Oh, uh, the steps? Steps, step whatever, and whoever. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. <laughs> I, again, you can't judge. I'm not going to judge anybody because as a life coach, that's definitely... You can judge Lynch, but... It, it is amazing, though, how many stepmoms have just huge double Ds and just... And they're just gorgeous. Yes, and just want to do nothing but... And they have a poor acting career. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, again, you you can judge, but it's inappropriate as a life coach to judge. Plus, sir, uh, what you did kissing your stepsister... That's nothing compared to one of my clients. I won't say his name, so it's still on the down low. He used to give his brother HJs to mow the lawn for him. And the chores, I know. very. But again, I can't judge. Need your advice, LC. My husband recently lost his job. Not good timing with the economy. You're not kidding. Anyway, I'm sorry to hear about that. Anyway, since I'm the only one working, he feels the urge to cook dinner. Let's just say he's not a good cook. <laughs> How do I tell him? She seems a little ungrateful. I mean, some would say you should be the one cooking. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, let me think. I, what I do with a lot of my patients, ma'am, is when they're having trouble wording something, because that's tough to tell your husband he doesn't know how to cook, but when you're having trouble wording something, you can say it in a poem. It makes it a little more subtle, oh, no. right? And for him, you could say, like, roses are red, I make the bucks. Sorry, honey, but your dinner sucks. Right? I mean, that not that a little bit easier than just hitting him straight between the eyes with it? And he's not... That was a little, I mean, cut to the bone. Or just say, hey, it's $5 sushi night up at Publix. Why don't we eat that? What? What if she maybe encouraged him to go get one of the many open jobs in the restaurant industry? Maybe he could learn some more about cooking. Maybe be a win-win, have some income, and at the same time, he sharpens his cooking skills. Nobody wants to work in restaurants. They all left. Remember? Now they they're doing rather they're doing office jobs and mm. not having to sit in front of an oven and a broiler and the salamander, which makes you very hot. LCTB, I'm getting engaged and looking for a really romantic way to propose. What does a man of your greatness suggest? Like I said, I don't divulge my marriage status, the LC, because I always like to be open. 
Um, like your marriage? Yeah. <laughs> and their legs. <laughs> First off, you need to buy a ring. And ironically, International Diamond Center is having a huge engagement ring sale coming up next oh, week. Wow. This guy I work with, uh, I think, uh, anyway. Then, I heard that guy's wife's having a birthday, too. That's so <laughs> weird. Uh, then you have to do something with the ring that's really going to wow her. Because that's the whole thing with the engagement. The women really don't like us. They just like to be able to brag, oh, my God, look at what he did. So what you do is you go to Petty's and get really fine cuts of meat, right? Like maybe a tomahawk, and then you cut a little baby slice in the cooked steak. Just act like you're checking if it's medium rare, even though you should be able to do that without cutting. But anyway, and then you just slide the ring in there and just have the diamond showing. That's going to work, right? Like it? You say so. And, I mean, you're totally confident eating your dinner because you're in your home that's protected with the same touch. Would, would it work if you just bought some potato salad while you were there? And put in the potato salad? Maybe she's a carb gal. Sure. You didn't catch my... Yeah, I caught it. I caught the security comments. A lot of people have a cable or satellite and more and more are streaming. What do you suggest, LC? Well, I hear streaming can save you money, but then I also hear that then there's more and more streaming things where you start spending more. Just limit yourself. It's like with drugs. You just got to limit yourself. But uh, the life coach isn't concerned about money. I actually have the actors come to my house and act out the cinema for me. (laughs) And like those step porns you're talking about, those are wild. It's uncomfortable at the very beginning. You can come over sometime. We'll watch in different rooms, like a glass partition so we don't have to see each other. Um. Uh, this is the one with the kid. Life coach, fifth grade daughter, refuses to try deli meat, but also says she's tired of PB and J sandwiches. What tips slash ideas do you have for lunches or to get her to try new things? Scott, Scott, Lunchables are a great go to. Plus, sometimes if you catch them right, you can get them like ten for ten bucks. That's two weeks of lunches, correct? Are they that cheap sometimes? Yeah, sometimes you can get them, 10 for 10. Really? You can get a check soda with it or something if you go over at the WD. But uh, you get those 10 for 10 Lunchables, you got to think. Sure, your daughter's maybe going to have swollen ankles from all the sodium, but it solves the sandwich problem, and the little bitch not eating de- deli meat. I'm sorry, but come on. Kids got to eat deli meat and, and PBJs. That's life. Lunchables are like the MREs for kids. You know? LC, <laughs> any advice for, and if we don't get to yours today, we got so many here, we'll print them up for next week. Well, well you won't. You'll have your assistant do that. Yeah. LC, any advice for a first time home buyer? Oh, first off, congrats, man. That's awesome. And much better than paying rent right now, right? It's a win win. Yeah. Well. Uh, my only real advice, I'd say go with an adjustable interest rate. <laughs> They're becoming real popular again. Wait, hold they are coming, on, man. They're becoming real popular again because people like gambling, right? Well, that's what an adjustable mortgage rate's like. It's like you never know what you're going to end up with. Hey, before you know it, the interest rate's going to be at 12.9, and then it'll dip somehow. Oh, it's time for election. Let's dip it down to 6.1. Back up to 18. Uh God, dog, how much more time do we have? You're good, believe it or uh, not. <laughs> LC, getting an inherit- getting inheritance money and want to buy a Hellcat. Wife is against it. Your thoughts? Um, It's your inheritance. She's going to understand. I think we got a whole lot of hell yeah going on here. Because I say, hell yeah, get the Hellcat, the Hellcat, pop in Hell's Bells on the radio, and for that matter, to hell with her. A guy with a Hellcat, you're like Ricky Bobby Jr., right? <laughs> um, LCTB, is it wrong that I have a few roadies in the school? Oh, my God. Is it wrong that I have a few roadies in the school car line? Wife says it's irresponsible. I told her it's irresistible. I'm not going to condone it, okay? That line is long. I always had TC. No, but I had TC driving, so I'd have a couple gin and tonics while I was waiting. Uh, I have a much better idea for you. 
Uh, you know the guy on the side of the road with the sign that says, we'll work for food or we'll, you know, looking for business, sure, a home, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Just hire him to come and drive and pick up your kid. You're the you're in the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new friend. <laughs> Some would say that's bad parenting, but I mean, I think I think no. You got to look at it from the half full perspective. It's not bad parenting. It's giving you more time to bond with your child because you have this guy driving. Sure, he's probably not in much better shape. Uh, I'm going to go uh, get your uh, LCTB employee. Uh, this is the one about uh, the chopper pilot. LCTB, how's the new chopper pilot working out? Seems like he needs to get some pep in his step. Just tell him, come on, let's go, Brandon. Uh, Brandon's actually working out all right. He's getting better by the day. Uh, he's no TC, but you're not going to replace a TC. But look at it this way. You know that song? You're down with OPP. He's almost down with LCTB. So you want to fire him up? Yeah, come on. Time to go. Let's go, Brandon. Well, thank you.